Hello and welcome to the Fire Install Installation Tutorial, which will guide you through all the necessary steps to successfully work with the app. The app is available for both Android and iOS. Please download it from the respective app stores. The app is also usable on tablets like we show in our video. The functionality is the same on both phone and tablet, but the appearance might vary slightly. To use Fire Install and the app you will need a Siemens ID account. If you don't have a Siemens ID account yet, please contact your Siemens representative who will send you an invitation. The following parts can also be done on your phone as it is purely browser-based. With this invitation, as you can see here, you will have a link to Building X where you can register. When you click on Accept Invitation, you will be asked to log in. As you don't have an account yet, you can sign up by clicking the Sign Up button in the top right-hand corner. Once you've filled out all information, accept the terms and conditions and confirm the sign up and then make sure you confirm the registration via the email you just received. Once confirmed you can go back to Building X to log in and then accept the invitation. Your Siemens ID account is now ready for Fire Install. If you have future projects, you can always use the same Siemens ID account, but make sure you accept the new invitations for the other projects, as they may be within different companies. When you sign in for the first time, you'll be asked to set up a biometric login with a fingerprint or face scan, which makes it easier to sign in and you don't have to keep typing your email and password every time. You can always change your login method later on. After the login, you can now see the projects of your default company. If you want to change your company, select the launch pad in the top left corner and click on Select Company. You can now select all the companies you have access to. Once a company has been selected, check that the correct partition has been selected. Then press Apply. If you can't find the correct company, it may be that you don't have access to it yet. Contact the administrator or project leader to send you an invitation or check your permissions. Going back to the launch pad, you also have the option settings, where you can choose your language, the theme of the app, change the biometric login, and lastly choose which customer text should be displayed. In the About section, you can see the version of the app and also a link to this video to access it quickly. Let's go back to projects and select the project we want to work with. After selecting the project, you will see the most important information in the dashboard, such as the progress of the project and how many floors have already been completed. By clicking on more, you can see more detailed information about the floors, such as how many detectors are in each floor and how many have been completed or are still to be installed. As internet connection is not always available one of the most important functions is available in the top right hand corner with the three dots. Here you can activate offline mode and download all the data you need to work without an internet connection. When you are finished and have an internet connection again, you can switch back to the online mode from here and all your changes and information will be synchronized. To proceed with the installation, we need to switch to the floor view in the lower part of the app. This gives you an overview of all the floors created in the project. How many devices have been installed on each floor and how many are required. If you have a large project, it may be necessary to filter or search. Both functions are located at the top of the app. While the search is text-based, you can filter by model, channel address, zone custom text, serial number, or status. Let's go to one of our floors and see what's behind it. Here you can see the type of device, the zone custom text, and the zone number. Click on any of the devices to get more information, but before we look into the available information, let's scan one device first. The first time you use the app, you will need to give Fire Install permission to take pictures and record video. When scanning the detector, make sure to scan the printed QR code and not the sticker as it offers more information. Once you have scanned the detector, the fields such as serial number and installed will be filled in automatically. 
The status will also change to assigned. If it is not possible to scan the ID, we have the option of editing the device manually. Click on the small pencil icon in the top right hand corner and simply enter the serial number. If you scanned the wrong device or notice a wrong ID, you can always unassign the device and rescan it again. The app will also detect if you've scanned the same ID twice and won't allow you to add it. In addition, if you scan a device that does not match the set type, you can either rescan or use the scanned model. Now let's have a look at the available information for each device. At the top you can see the status. If the device is already assigned, if it is missing, or if there is an error. Then we can see the model of the device, for example 00H740. If there is a yellow exclamation mark next to the device type, it means that the device model has not been recognized by the system. You will need to manually edit the model type or ensure that the correct model is acquired during scanning to avoid problems with the export later. Next, we have the serial number. Then we have the zone custom text, as seen earlier. The time and date of installation. And advanced options, which can be expanded. In the advanced options, we have more detailed information about the area, section, zone, and the channel. The final option is the comments field. Here you can leave a comment for the project manager or technician, which is then also viewable in the web version. Once you have added a comment, you can also attach an image to it to clarify further. Another problem could be that you need to install an additional device. To do this, we need to go back to the floor overview. In the top right corner, we have a small plus sign. This is where you can add a new device. Just make sure you are in the correct floor and then enter the correct model. You can type in the serial number, or you can scan it in from the floor detail view, as we saw earlier. Now choose the area, section, and zone. The channel address is automatically filled in with the next available number but can be changed if needed. Lastly, just confirm to add the device with clicking on Create Device. You now know everything you need to about the app and its functionalities and are ready to work confidently and effectively with Fire Install. If you have any questions about the app, please contact your Siemens representative.